how's it going everybody for today's video we're going to be doing the all-time braves team build now to get everybody in that i thought would have been important to i had to do a lot of secondary positions so defensively this team is not going to be as good as it could have been and i did my best to use every card that was not because again they have a lot of postseason cards i did my best to avoid that in right field we got the 99 gold glove andrew jones now every year it seems like he's released a little too late where he becomes irrelevant but if say he was released around the time like ernie banks or cards like that where yes we got better cards but for a while ernie banks was the best shortstop in the game if, if we got him around the same time andrew jones would have been the best outfielders in the game too again when you look at his stats of course he's gonna have great fielding because it's his gold glove card but he's got good hitting stats good speed great all-around card in center field you gotta have him the big name over right now in atlanta is going to be 99 Ronald Acuna Jr. In left field, it is the return of the guy who I like, and then other times pisses me off. 99 Harry Sheffield. Again, now this is where you start seeing secondaries, as you've already seen too. Freddie Freeman, we all know him as a third baseman, right? He's going to be over at third base, and to get everybody in, Chipper Jones, shortstop, 63 fielding. No way that goes wrong at all. Over at second base, we're going to be using the 98 postseason Ozzy Albee switch hitter he's going to rake you see his stats good fielder decent speed we have him leading things off again this is a guy that I wanted to get in super bad Fred McGriff the crime dog and he doesn't have any secondaries so that's why Freddie Freeman's playing third last but not least we got Joe Torre behind home plate with on the bench we got Dansby Swanson kind of had a breakout year then cooled off Babe Ruth was there for a year one year which is why he's not going to be in the starting lineup for me 95 jason hayward i wanted to put him out there but would you really use him over andrew jones acuna or harry shaffield let me know in that comment section if i'm an idiot always love to hear that 98 christian pache he did some good stuff in the postseason as well and 99 travis day arno when it comes to the starting pitching side of things i really wish i could have gotten the really good tom glavin but the only way you get him is through br i had him at one point but we sold them in order to be able to do team builds. Ironic, huh? But we got 99 John Smoltz, 99 Greg Maddox, who if we get a mercy, will pitch the second game. And at how I look at this part of the rotation, long relievers, Bryce Wilson, Max Freed, and 94 Kyle Wright. When it comes to the bullpen, it's a little bit better than I honestly expected. Did a little bit more research, found a lot more names. By a lot more, I mean like three more, which is still, I only knew about two so we got the 95 Tyler Matzik. We got 94 Billy Wagner, 97 Craig Kimbrell, 95 Bruce Suter, 94 Lucas Simpson. Had no clue, and he had some good amount of years over there in Atlanta. Had no clue that's where he's from, but he is. 84 Chris Martin, the BR legend. Pretty damn good, but in ranked seasons, probably not. So hopefully we don't have to use him or Darren O'Day. I decided to go Darren O'Day because he's a little bit cheesy. Finally, the way our lineup is going to stack. We got 98 Ozzy Albies leading things off. Acuna Jr. hitting in the two spot. Chipper, big dick chip. He's hitting third. Freddie Freeman, he's got to hit fourth. I'm pretty sure that's where he hits. Maybe third or fourth over right now. So felt like he had to hit there. Harry Sheffield hitting fifth. Andrew Jones sixth. Fred McGriff all the way down in the seventh spot with Joe Torre. This lineup is actually pretty damn good. So we are currently rated 826. Don't think we've lost yet. So because I said that, we're probably losing now. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Now, before we get into the rest of our content, I would like to give a huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Christmas came early this year because I just got gifted the new performance package by Manscaped. Your jingle balls will thank you as Manscaped has created the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit that has you covered from head to toe. And let me just add, with packaging like this, you know they're taking good care of your package too. The performance package comes with the Lawnmower 3.0 for your nether regions, the Weed Whacker for pesky nose and ear hairs, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, and Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. My personal favorites of this package are the Ball Deodorant and Ball Toner Spray. Use them every day and they both smell absolutely amazing. To go along with these items, you'll receive two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag, which carries anything and everything in the performance package and the manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs which are really comfortable if you haven't already every guy needs to add manscaped to their wish list or you can always get it as a gift for somebody else to go along with what is already a great deal you could get 20 percent off by using promo code mcgunsky or by going to www.manscaped.com forward slash mcgunsky and you'll get that 20 percent off applied already at checkout with that promo code you will also get free international shipping and those two free gifts thank you again to manscape for sponsoring today's video their link will be in the description box down below and remember 
your balls will thank you so we are not going to be the home team and our opponent is going to be a h dro he's got a twitch channel go ahead and check him out 99 chris sale on the mound i actually think that might not be terrible news for us i tend to hit him well and again i say these things and then probably regret it because every time i say i do something well it doesn't tend to happen we are the away team again which i've already pointed out but this park 420 to dead center yeah chris sale is gonna dominate it's over no don't no that's a negative chief odds are two you had a decent record it is the braves team not my god squad you could probably compete here ozzy albies base hit up the middle we are on the later side of good gotta get a little bit early we're gonna drive it on out just missed it that should have been blasted one down all right chip you're much better versus the lefties and i still can't believe i missed out with acuna big dick chocolate chip tell me that's leaving or is this stupid ass park that you chose gonna hold it in it is Head. two down ah what sucks about that too that was well squared up 114 power god 420 to center it's gonna it's gonna rail us pretty free balls tell me you went deep thank you the guy who doesn't really have power versus lefties it's probably because we pulled it honestly but two to zero we're on the board in the first multiple videos again i think our offense is coming around harry shaft got dead center 428 holding us in very nice three to zero man maybe maybe harry shaffield's got to get back in the lineup i forgot how good he can be the part that sucks about him though when you use him at third base as we might see we're also using him in another secondary which is left field his fielding might be ass dude we got the eye of an eagle a hawk with a big cock crime dog lefty lefty nuke season i'm 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 i'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it good pitch we got ourselves a three-run lead in the first now, the big question here is John Smoltz in real life, again, dominant in this game because of his pitch repertoire. Yeah, we're going to have to see what he's got. But at least just tell me you can throw spots and dots because as long as you can locate, we can at least live a little bit. And also, what kind of is this? We're leading off Babe Ruth. You're telling me he's the fastest one you got? 2-1, John's refusing to locate. Thank you. On cue. That a boy. Man, I wish he had something other than basically two change-ups and clearly one stinks first batter of the game full count we're gonna challenge him and chipper jones gold glove shortstop one down yeah yeah see this is now really confusing the mikey mantis is hitting second babe ruth was hitting first you flop if you flip those two I i'm on board oh god oh god indeed he missed two down all right john one two three inning you get us back up we're gonna get a couple more runs and i know for sure you're giving up runs I can't control you. You don't have a sinker. You don't have really any of the OP pitches like a cutter and all that good stuff. Yeah, you might be giving up one this inning too. Come on, baby. I mean, I, what is your control? I know it's supposed to be like in the 90s. It don't feel like it. Either way, we induce the line out. We get blessed. Tori Smoltz. We might see if Smoltz is a pitcher who can rake. Come on, Tori. Get on for him. Joe. That's going to be a line out. All right. He lined out. We line out. Fair enough. One down. All right, two pitches, two outs, top of the lineup. Let's get a little bit more selective again, though. It was Tori. We got a good pitch today. We lined out. Pitcher, who cares? Ozzy. We're not going to be just late this time. We're getting it. And the good times keep coming. So we end up, we hit the ball pretty well in the second. Just no cigar. It didn't drop. He's got the four, or five, six, seven spot of his lineup. Let's see if we can get at one, two, three. Not gonna lie, this inning I'm working on getting ahead in the count. Blow by! Oh, one, well, we're going right back to it. And there's clearly, he's gonna probably hit it. No, God! We're in a long at bat right now. He's fouling off everything. And it continues. Do I have to throw a fastball down the middle? What does it take? Just put it in play. Thank you. Enjoy the deep fly out. It's finally in play. One down. At least that at bat, I could say John Smoltz was locating pretty well. And right on cue, don't say anything positive. And she's gone. Oh, wait, don't choose this park. Two down. Now, I wouldn't mind seeing Freddy go deep for the other team just because it would suit the team build pretty well, but I'm not going to try to do that. See, if John Smoltz had a sinker, this man would be glitchy. Have a sinker instead of like a, uh, your changeup. Keep the splitter. Put it like he would be disgusting. Ronald McDonald, baby. Base it up the middle. We're getting things started off right. 91 speed. I don't know what his stealing is, but if it's high... We might be going. Oh, 94 steal? Yeah, we, we may look to go. All right, this is the count. This is it. 1-1. One, one, we're stealing. Come on, Acuna. Big jumps. Good jumps. Oh, God. 
Oh God, he sees me. He sees me. Go back. What the hell's happening? Why did he stop? Oh, can we still cheese him? Oh my God, Acuna, what the hell are we doing? It works. Am I underneath it? Kind of, not really. Just missed. One down. Freddie Freeman, we already got one lefty lefty nuke. Let's do it again. Did he do it again? What? This is going to be the inning of just misses and deep flyouts all the way to the damn wall. All right, Harry, we don't need anything special. Base hit. You want to go deep, so be it. But let's just get the run in. And I don't blame you. Harry Sheffield's probably the best batter overall in this lineup. First and third, two down. Big time, Andrew. And we draw another walk. Fred McGriff. God. Base is loaded. Two balls all the way to the wall. One just absolutely terrible at bat with Fred McGriff. I got a fastball down the middle. I just stared at it per usual. I mean, just high IQ thinking here. So, John, give us one more good inning. And that's foul. Thank God. So, give us one more good clean inning. And we'll get you more. And honestly, I haven't used Salvador Perez yet, but he seems like he's pretty damn good. 0-2 curve. That's going to hang. And we're going to give up an early nuke. Three to one. Is my man going to be sweating and pissing out of his hog? Are we taking out Chris Sale in the third? Survey says that is a negative. All right, but one thing we do have to be careful about. Chris Sale can actually hit. I know he doesn't have die, but I know he doesn't have any real hitting stats, but the man. Oh, he raked. I should honestly just throw a fastball down the middle. He's probably not swinging. And I lied, and Chris Sale almost on cue going deep. Harry Sheffield got the range. One down. All right, let's challenge him. Let's see if his lefties like the gays inside. All right, John Smoltz, we might be sweating out of our pisser. You might be, you might have to get the hell off my mound. I, I honestly do believe we may have to go the bullpen and our long relievers. Our offense is cooled down. If we start getting more runs, then fine. But right now, we're going to be warming up Tyler Matzik and Bryce Wilson. All right, Smoltz, can you just get us out of the third with the lead? I mean, you're pushing it. You're pushing it. Chipper Jones, come on, baby. Good range. Two down. So far, Chipper has not been an utter disappointment, which is what I completely expected. I honestly am still expecting minimum one air inbound. Oh, one. Probably. I'm going to regret this. Never mind. I love myself. It was a high IQ pitch. We get a routine fly. We get ourselves out of that baby jam after giving up two solo shots. But we got Tori Smoltz. See you later, buddy. Yeah, we're going to need runs. Smoltz day's over. And we got the top of the lineup afterwards. I missed that. But please tell me I could get blessed with it being gone. Just another deep flyout. Good times. One down. You know what? We only got a one-run lead. He did it in the playoffs. Pache. Come up clutch. And that's going to be a lineup. I'm already feeling. Oh, it's over his head. Please. Yes. King Griffey, I thought for sure was going to be getting that. But Pache, laser beam double. Ozzy, we're going deep to right field. We're getting underneath it. It's out of here. Five to two. I need the rally. I need it now. I need more runs. I'm late. Damn it. I was even looking for that pitch. Saw it. Just sat back way too long. Two down. Chipper Jones down the line. I'm pretty sure, especially with Willie Mays out there. Because he took that route, we are getting the double. Atta boy, Willie. Come on, Freddy. You just missed one earlier. You already got one. Let's make it two. Freddy free balls. Did he do it again? He's going deep. I mean, he shouldn't. That's not even on it. Ken Griffey caught that with his, his wrist. Are we hosed at third? We are. That was so confusing. I didn't even care to look. Considering this part of his lineup is definitely more geared for a righty. Tyler Matzik. You got a fastball. You got a slide. You got a cutter. And you got the curve. No change. But at least for Griffey. Should be good enough. Do it. Do it. Bring the guess. Yeah! All right, we about to have another long at bat with your cap. Blow bomb! Yet again, another long at bat with this man's cap. He's always late. Come on, bring it. We got him. We got him. Two down. I think my man's needs to change his cap stance because with everybody else, he has no problem turning on it. But with his cap, he like, I would throw the fastball in nonstop and it wouldn't change how he was late. But again, I go to his normal batters. Dude, he's early. Backdoor cutter. Dot him. He... I thought for sure we are freezing him, but we at least did get him out in front for a week. Routine fly ball to left field. Harry Sheffield, Jones, McGriff, meat of our lineup. Every inning, I want to score at least one, but this one, minimum two. So that's going to do it for Chris Sale. We're going to face Kenley Jansen. Yeah, Harry Sheffield don't give a f 
All right, literally early on the first one. Said I was going to slow down. Three pitches in a row. Very late. We're going to be early. I don't care. No. Oh. How did we? I mean, can you make an air, Freddy? Freddy, Freddy, out of boy. Why did not do it for us? Do it for him. Cheat him. Fred, hit the gap. Get down. Hey. I guess the game makes up for itself a lot. And just take your sweet time. Joe Tory, do something. Please tell me that's leaving. Joe, 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 get out, ball. Eight to two. All right, I think Tyler's day is done. He's at the part of the lineup. Oh, definitely. We're going to go back to Billy. We're going to warm up Lucas. Oh, Lucas Tim's already going. All right, it is time. Jason Hayward against a righty is always a lot of fun. Leave him in. No, don't be a bitch. Leave him in. Jason wants to go deep. <sighs> I don't like you. I, I really don't like you anymore. All right. He hates Jason. Can't blame him. Dansby, you're, you're in replace of him. Go deep. 3-0. I feel like we got to do it. We're going to take all the way. Let's see if he's going to put it down the middle. He's going to slide step. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I think if you throw three balls, slide stepping may not be the answer. Pretty sure that makes it hotter. Uh, harder, not hotter, but it is hotter for me. I'm going to take it. Oh. oh, we missed it. I mean, the good news is, especially if he takes out Freddie Freeman, we got this man wasting bench. He's already been wasting. How, if you have Machado, why aren't you using him in the first place? But either way, we got him wasting bullpen. We got him wasting bench pieces. We're throwing fastballs down the cock. We're having a good time. Come on, Billy. Good innings. That's a good start. 0-1 slider inside. Routine fly to left. One down. Oh, one. Oh, dear God. Blow him off. Come on, Billy. Spots and dots. And we'll take it. Line out to center. Two down. You have Jimmy Fox on the bench. The disrespect that I feel for him. Hey, what? Jimmy's the best hitter in the game. Like, I would use Jimmy over Salvador. 110%. Oh. And case in point, Salvador Perez ain't doing that. I mean, he did hit an early nuke, but... I mean, Jimmy's just prime. All right, Billy being in the yellow, kind of nervous, but it is a lefty. So we're going to rock with it. Um, I'm going to take it. Chipper Jones... Chipper has yet to fail us. So we keep our 8-2 to two lead, and this is where the fun begins. We got Acuna. We got Chipper. I'm going to be honest. It might, I don't remember who, but you know who's third. It's Ronald, bitch. And it's a line out, whore. One down. Chipper dropping hog. Tell me that's leaving. It is. Nine to two. Chipper Jones may have to... Like, I can't imagine what his 99 was. I wish I didn't hate BR. We got, we got to get him soon. It's a really crappy pitch to swing at, so I'm really okay with that result. Two down. What? What? Oh, we missed. I missed that. All right, I'm kind of down because I don't think we're going to be getting to Mercy, or if we do, it's going to be so late. We're going to bring out Bryce Wilson, and hopefully he shoves it, because if you could last two innings, then we could go to either Bruce or whoever the hell I want. My bullpen... That'd be fantastic, and you already know. Dot! All right, my man's through one dot, and it's looking like GG's. I mean, two pitches completely out of the zone. Change up down the heart of the plate, and Fred McGriff not helping out. But I mean, we've got some lineouts, especially the first Fred, so you you could pick up the glove. Come on, Bryce, let's locate. It's not located. This is what you get for choosing this park. You choose ship it. You probably even choose a major league stadium. That don't happen. One down. Am I the only one who loves when other people, when they choose stupid parks, are playing themselves? I love it. Bryce, I actually thought you were going to come out and dominate. And you are just trying to do the complete opposite. But Chipper Jones got you, baby. Maybe not. He's too slow on the turn. Two down. I mean, Chipper just keeps surprising me. Nothing but glove. Where's that going? Over the fence. It's going over the fence. And Chipper Jones being a dog-ass fielder. At least he made the play, but did cost us now three runs because any other guy doesn't turn it that slow. So I guess even though Chipper made the play, he does come back to haunt us. And it's still not over. Up. Uh, yeah, Bryce Wilson. So glad you're on the team. I'm going to give you one more batter, and I'm sure that's going to be something I regret. Yep. Going to be something I regret. You better hope Andrew's got your back, buddy. He does. That's what good fielding does for you. You get bailouts. Jones, McGriff, Torrey. Please, for the love of God, get us one more batter up. I need him off the mound. Andrew Jones, please hit the gap, hit the gap, hit the gap. That's in the gap. We're getting the double. So there's no way we're hitting a double play. And Bryce Wilson's day, unless some foreseen stupid sh happens, his day's over. Fred Mc... 
Perfect, perfect. I, I don't know why I accidentally clicked go. Oh my God, never mind. It was a red move. Go to third, damn it. Perfect, perfect. All right, after I just said that, th this stupid field cost him. It just cost me, but we do get a double. Tell me you'll load the bases for somebody like Babe Ruth, or I don't care. Just load them up. And he's going to do that. We drop ball four. I, I, I got to go Travis Darno in this spot. Because Babe Ruth, at least later on in the game, I have confidence in him hitting against anybody. Same with Travis. But I'll take the righty-lefty matchup with no outs. Come on, Travis. Three, two. Part of me really wants to send the guy home, but I know it's stupid. Travis, no. That is actually the worst thing that could have happened. Perfect, perfect line out. I'm calling it now. Uh, who's our number one batter? Ozzy. Can't wait for the double play, Chief. 3-0. Base is loaded. You have to take. I'm sure we might see it down the middle, but my hands are off the controller. And he almost threw a ball. I deserve the pain that's coming. Base is loaded. No outs. A perfect, perfect line out. A terrible at bat when I should have. Acuna, I need the bailout. Bad. Hit the granny. The last two batters, 110% my fault. I have nothing to say on that. But that perfect, perfect. It's like it sets up the mindset. You knew it was coming. I'm just surprised it wasn't a double play. After that chokage, I'm really feeling a loss coming. I'm really feeling the Braves choking again. Here we go. Remember how I said, oh, the bullpen doesn't seem that bad? I lied. Now, everyone I've gone to other than Smoltz, oddly enough, is just selling the bag. He wanted us to lose. And, uh, yeah. Lucas Sims. I will say again, I do apologize for not scoring last inning. I will not apologize. You are impossible to control. Assuming this man gets on or whatever, Lucas Sims, your day will be done. I want us to win. Come on, Lucas. Hit a spot. Oh, get him out of third. I mean, we'll take the bailout. Chipper Jones still being a god. One down. Come on, Lucas, darling. Double play. And that's where, again, Chipper comes in and costs us. And he goes to third. Oh, this man. I like him. I like him. He's weird, but I like him. Max Freed, it is your time to shine. You at least have all five pitches. And I just pray that you locate. Should have probably prayed a little bit earlier. But that little stinky move that he did to stay on second, then go to third... It already cost us one run. All right, Max, let's get out of this. No runs allowed. If you come up to hit, depending on our lead anyways, depending on the situation, you're probably going to stay out because our bullpen after you, I really will not trust in the slice. Craig Kimbrell, going to get rocked like it's real life. Every, I don't even, Bruce Seward are probably going to get rocked too. Jones, Freeman, Sheffield, minimum. I need to get our rally going. Minimum two runs. Let's get a comfortable lead again. I'm really thinking I'm not scoring the rest of the game. The way I'm choking. One down. Freddie Freeman, base hit up the middle. Oh, please tell me this is the start of something new. Gabriella Troy singing in my ears. I forgot. Gary's the best check swinger in the game. Andrew Jones dead center. And the park saves him. This is what I get for talking all that shit, how it screwed him. All right, so maybe this guy was high IQ. I mean, the, the reason why I hate these deep center parks, I'm the type of player I look to go up the middle on everything. Like, that's how I hit really well, is I don't try and look to pull. I don't look to go away. I just make the tiny adjustment when it's in, out. But, oh, man. Oh, two slipies, get him. We jam him with the slider. Routine fly to center. One down. One, I'll bring the gas. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit cocky. I'm going right back to it. Execution. We're going to get a routine grounder, Ozzy Albies. Two down. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yes. Even though there's a shift, it's slow enough. Ozzy Albies with the range. We do get our one, two, three. I want to say we're going to score. I really do want to say it. But I'm not, so I do. Please get through the hole. I'll take it. I will take it. Fred McGriff coming up clutch with a sneaky little grounder. Man on first. It is. We are going to have to bring up Babe, but hopefully he gets baited into going to a righty right now. Goose. It's not like I'm super thrilled to see Goose, but for Babe, we are. And this is where things are going to get a lot, a lot of fun because I'm going to have to do it. Oh, do I trust Kyle Wright? I honestly want to... We're going to do it. 
It's only going to be one inning. Greg Maddox, he's got to come in. He did good for the Cubs. He's going to do good here. And we draw ball four. First and second. Nobody out. Babe, I don't ask for much. I probably do, to be honest. I do ask for a lot. But right now, I'm, I'm begging you, please. Oh, I mean, it's at least not a double play. It's not a nuke. It is at least advancing the over, the runners over, though. First and second, one down. Ozzy, get it out of the infield. Get a base hit. I need at least one. I'm going to sell the bag. And we're going to lose. The clutch rating on every single one of these cards, me included, zero. Goose sick. We stink. All right, not to talk shit on the Braves, but what a perfect way to do a team build. If we blow it, it'll just be like it was real life. Let's do it. Come on, Greg. I'm counting on you. Spots and dots. If we locate, I know how to pitch to this man. We'll be fine. Come on. Good cutter. Good pitch. Get him out in front. Chipper Jones, not now. Not an error. One down. Come on. Good sink piece. Dot. One, two, change up just out of the zone. Pull the string. Bring him up and up in the zone. Yeah. We got our first two outs. Greg Maddox for the Cubs. Nasty. Greg Maddox right now. Oh, nasty. He's been great. One, two, three. We don't choke on our own pissers. I wish I knew what the hell happened from the innings seven, eight, and nine. And honestly, whatever, I think it was the seventh where we had bases loaded, no outs. If you get a perfect, perfect line out with nobody out with bases loaded, you can guarantee the innings over. To be more serious than that, though, I... We choked. I, we won because we were thankfully good one through, I'll say five to six. I don't even feel like, but one through five, the first five innings, we were good. And through those innings carried us enough for the Braves to pull out the W. But Freddie Freeman, a home run, a double three ribbies. Chipper Jones, two for five, a home run, a double. Ozzy Alves even flashed the power a little bit. Home run with two ribbies. And Joe Torre had a clutch two run home run as well. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.